All right, guys, what's going on? Um, it's been a while. I have been busy. Um, actually, I've I've just been playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom since it came out. So I haven't had a chance to upload my war videos, but we're having a good season. I feel like this season has been pretty interesting, so I want to go ahead and post them. Um, this is the first two wars of the season. And since I posted last, I did take Omega Red to rank five. So I'm gonna be using a rank five Omega Red for this war. And this is against, I think it was Lox C, like L-O-X-C. Um, so we're starting off on path seven here. This is just going to be a Jabari. Um, this is good placement for her. Just in general, like even without this global, I actually think this global makes her a little bit easier because I usually wanna push her to special two anyway. Um, but with Omega, you just want to hit with mediums to avoid all of the damage reflect. And yeah, if you do take some damage reflection, it really doesn't matter very much. So this fight's going to be over in just a second. And yeah, that's it. So very easy fight. Um, I'm super comfortable with that. If you don't want to use Omega Red, you can use like Apocalypse. You can use um, Namor. But other than that, I think that's pretty pretty much all of the um all of the counters that i would personally want to use there um next up i'm going to be taking this ebony ma on node 26 um i've wanted to take this fight before but i haven't because i wasn't i, I felt like it was a good matchup um but i don't know i just hadn't done it before so but yeah, I mean, I'm just going to take it. It's going to be a super fast fight. I think I have Guidance on here. I do. Um, which just makes playing around the shocks a little bit easier. And I did throw on a regen boost for this. Um, you know, just because it's the first war of the season. And yeah, um, he's going to drop here in just a second. Very easy fight for Omega Red. And... Moving up, I'm going to be on path 7 and section 2 also. So the reason that I lumped these two together, these two wars, is because um, most of it's just Omega Red. War 3 Omega was actually banned, so I got to bring some different champions, which was cool. Um, yeah, this is just going to be an Atuma. He is very easy. This global does not make him any harder um, at all. Um, regardless, you don't... you you know, don't want to stun him with or without this global, so it makes absolutely no difference in how you would want to play this fight with Omega. Sometimes my reaction time is a little bit slow and I have a hard time um, punishing his heavy with mine, so I just didn't lock in spores there. It was still like a 30 second fight. And then this is going to be a Penny Parker. This is actually decent placement for her, but... Um, if Mini Island dictates that you can bring, like, a Corvus, um, you know, this is a really easy Corvus charge. But it can be a dangerous placement, too, because when she auto-blocks you, that counts as a shrug. So I have seen her go fully unblockable here and just ruin people. So I'm going to build up spores, then I'm going to lock them in, because um, you can't really get her shield down with the protection up. So there I went unblockable. Um, I just kind of want to hit her block, but she's not really letting me. There she did. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and lock in spores again, knock her down. And this fight is essentially over at this point. I would like to hit her block, but again, you know, she just wanted to be aggressive and against Omega Red. That, you know, is a good thing for me. So... Uh, last fight here, this is going to be a rank 5 kingpin. I was slightly nervous about this. I did change my masteries a little bit, and I took all of my points out of precision so that I wouldn't be critting. But I'm still going to crit quite a bit in this fight. And this fight can get out of hand quickly. Um, if he gets to a special 2, if he gets above a special 2, there's a very good chance you're going to die here. So you just have to be ready to play very slowly. So I'm gonna lock in my spores early. You can see I got a crit there. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play this one really slow. I'm gonna try to hit his block a bit, um, and I'm only gonna hit him to lock in my spores. That's it. I'm not gonna hit him for any other reason. 
Um, I'm perfectly fine playing in the corner against Kingpin. He has very easy, like, heavy and specials to evade if you need to. So here we go. You can see it's been under a minute. It's been about 40 seconds, and he's pretty much dead. Like, he might as well be dead at this point. Just punish his special one with a heavy, and fight's over. So that's it for that war. Um, it went poorly for us. We did win, but, um, yeah, it was, I think that we died like eight times that war, just being rusty, basically. Um, but they obviously died more than that, so we did, we did win. And, yeah, so for War 2, we matched PBT. I feel like we have kind of a mixed history against PBT, but I could be misremembering. Um, they banned Science Champions because of the Torch Blacklist and then Ghost. I think that they did this because I have heard that GT40 does this. Um, maybe it works for GT40, but with their defense it didn't work particularly well. So just looking around, if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna go like, just ban all of the Science Champions, um, I don't know, you you really need to load up on Mystics, like you need to be, you need to have a, a really, really heavy Mystic defense, and they just don't. Um, I mean, they have some Mystic defenders, but a lot of them I wouldn't necessarily want to send either Scorpion or um, S99 to. So, yeah, starting off here, um, Omega versus Jabari again. Super easy fight, super quick, otherwise I would just fast forward through it. But, um, yeah, again, this is like, so this is where you want to place Jabari because you, if you're setting up your defense, you want to try to force people to bring counters. Like, that's the whole point of of defense is to try to make it so that people have to bring specific champions for specific fights and that just makes like planning for them a little bit harder um jabari forces a specific counter uh this dragon man doesn't however a lot of the champions that you might want to use for um jabari aren't going to be great for this dragon man so there i uh, messed up and let him knock me down he went unblockable <laughs> um kind of embarrassing but omega sentinel is um an attack tactic champion so she's really good this season i mean she's good all the time she's particular she's particularly good right now um but there are other champions that can do like pretty much the same stuff as her like viv vision is you know, similar in some ways, different utility, but um, still, you know, really good. Nullify immune, stagger immune. But Omega Sentinel is going to be power burning him a little bit on every hit, as long as she has an armor. So I don't really have to worry about anything in this fight. I'm just kind of trying to place some incinerates on him. I'm not going to throw any specials because I don't want to knock him down. Uh, but yeah, this fight is over. Unfortunately, I have to heal Omega Sentinel up, but I'm going to move on to Path 5 in Section 2. There's a Kitty Pride here. Um, again, just a super easy Omega Sentinel fight. Not much going on. Um, all you want to do against Kitty Pride to get rid of her prowess is um, place a Cowardice on her. So Nimrod, you know, I think still might be better for her. Um... But, yeah, I mean, Omega Sentinel is a close second, so... Here we go. Um, the other interesting thing about this global and Path 5 specifically in Section 1 and Section 2, um, at the beginning of the fight, the defender is automatically gonna get a prowess because they sh shrug, even if there's not a debuff to shrug, there's something about the way that it's, like, coded. So when she starts with the protection and would be shrugging debuffs, um, they give her a prowess for that. And then every time that the protection comes back, she's going to get prowess then too. So um, pretty good placement. And I think I will look here in a second because I don't remember, but I think that Mighty Charge might work the same way. 
Um, so any time that the defender dashes at you, they would uh, be purifying debuffs. And yeah, so they're gonna gain a prowess, but I might be misremembering that. Or Omega might turn a certain element of that down. I'm just not sure. I'm just something to keep an eye out for if you're, you know, taking, you know, a defender like this. So yeah, it looks like, I actually can't tell because I keep critting, but um, you can see that he did start with a prowess. That's totally fine. I'm still gonna lock in spores even though he, he will uh, lose them. When uh, he'll lose the degen whenever he dashes at me, I'm. it still gives me damage for the period of time that it's on there. And if you're gonna intercept here, go for a light intercept. Um, there's very little risk there. Um, yeah, no clue what happened. Just charging my heavy a little bit too fast. Here, I'm gonna throw a special three. I think that this will finish it, but hopefully it'll save me a little bit of healing. There's not much healing to do, but yeah, it's gonna kill him. So, um, and then I'm gonna take two more fights this war. I was actually a tiny bit nervous. I've done this fight before and it's gone okay. Um, but this is a rank five Rintra. So that's a lot of health. To, that's a lot of health to deal with. Um, and this fight isn't gonna be quick at all. You can see at first he was, you know, playing nice and letting me get those light intercepts. That doesn't last forever. But you know, in the first like 15 seconds of the fight, I took off 30% of his health. Um, but this fight is not going to continue going this quickly. So. Um, 30 seconds in, he's at 50%, and then at some point here coming up, he, you know, stops being nice. So there I lost all my spores. Not the end of the world. I don't need the protection off of him, um, to be able to kill him. But it would definitely help. So here I'm just, you know... Kind of trying to get some degen in when I can, but you can see that the healing is almost... He, he's healing like 30% of all the damage I'm doing from willpower. So I'm just going to keep knocking him down. The main thing I want to focus on right now, since I'm playing from my corner, are his mystical charges. I don't want them to get too high. I don't want him to root himself in front of me. So... He's going down. At this point, his power is getting kind of high, though. Um, he's kind of hovering around that, like, one and a half bars of power. And I'm cornered, so it's a little bit hard to get my light intercept. So I'm just trying to kill him without an intercept. So in the first, like, 40 seconds of the fight, I did, like, 50% of his health. And it's been, like a minute and a half since then and I've only gotten like 40% of his health down. So I'm just gonna throw the special three, try to get some space here. Um, it's gonna push him above two bars but then drain him down to uh, one bar. And yeah, at this point I just I just need to, to hit him down. Trying to like let 10 spores sit on him a little bit just to do some damage without him getting willpower, but yeah, fight's over. A little bit annoying, started out really well. I should have just pushed him to two bars of power and just, you know, killed him earlier. Um, and then this is gonna be my last fight of the war. This is a Mangog. So Mangog would have been better on the following node, the node that he's normally on in my opinion, which is a fight that you want to use Spidey 99 for if you're gonna ban Spidey. Putting him here, this isn't a place that I would send a Spidey anyway. I would pretty much always send an Omega or an Apoc here. So this is kind of what I meant about them not like, you know, uh, optimizing their defense for their bans. But I'm just going to medium light so he doesn't get any prowess, try to push him to special two. Um, definitely don't want him going unblockable or anything like that, but yeah, fight's over, 40 seconds, very easy. So, um, this war we did pretty well. We died two times as an alliance. I think my battle group died once, and it was a planning error on my part. 
Um, so we ended up beating them two to 10. It was pretty close for a while. I think they kind of gave up because we cleared before them and we only had two deaths. So either way, good war to these guys. Um, my next video I will be posting tomorrow. Um, and yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching.